it was flawless. And this incredible young talent has taken another big step forward in this already impressive young career. What a display, a straight set win for Iga Sviont. But ultimately it wasn't enough against the 20 year old number one seed who gets it done in straight sets. With Elena Rybakina in that opening set went her way and that was the platform for success. An excellent performance, 7662. She's into the last four in Estrada. It really was. What a great match. And you can see the applause there. I mean, she had a lot of support. One, six, three. Good work in the end there from Shontek, wasn't it? She had complete control of this match. Other than just a couple of games. Only dropping the one game to advance. Six, one, six, low. In less than an hour's play. Shontek just flawless really she did exactly what she needed to do which for most of that match in fairness wasn't what ladies and gentlemen Iga Sviantek able to capture the win her first her debut at the WTA finals and she posts the victory in an hour and 39 minutes for the defending champion Maria Saville gave a good account of herself after an injury hit a couple of seasons, but it's Fiontek who marches on straight set, 6-3, 6-3. Sviontek loves Adelaide. Another straight set victory for the defending champion, just three games lost, 6-1, 6-2, and into the last eight. Such a high level of performance from the defending champion. She's dropped a set in this arena. As she was pushed hard by Azarenka. Disappointing for the Belarusian who clearly had an injury in that third set. But take nothing away from Igor Sviantek. She's won in three sets. 6-3, 2-6, 6-1. Well, look at what it means. An hour and five minutes. Shriontek wins 6-1, 6-2. Six, Just irresistible today, Iga Shriontek. And the fans have been in her court. But it's a victory that will take Shriontek into the last four in Doha. And she continues to impress this year. There's no doubt about it. Three semi-finals and counting in 2022. Further can she go this week? Much to admire. Zachary made a real nuisance of herself in both sets in the nicest possible way. But Sviontek found a way back in both sets, and that was key. She hadn't been able to do that against an opponent who'd given her real problems in the past, but not today. The puzzle was solved. Outstanding return performance here tonight. Dismantling Annette Contevate's serve with relentless accuracy. It's a second Masters 1000 title for the 20 year old pole. And when she plays like this. Value for this victory. Got herself settled in. And she got the match win. And she's off to the third round at Indian Wells. 5 7, 6 love, 6 1. In exactly two hours, as she puts on the pin, supporting everything that's going on in Ukraine right now. And big round of applause for the Ukrainian and Helena Helena from Ukraine, playing with a heavy heart, and she gave herself proud. To 16th of 2022 leads the WTA Tour. And she is a force to be reckoned with. Yes, Fiontek, the number three seed, number four player in the world. Second straight Indian Wells, fourth round appearance. 6'7", six, 6'2", six, and 6'1", in the third. Yeah, it was a very good match. I'm impressed with Towson, but we knew she's a great player. And Angelique Kerber, but ran out of steam a little bit at the end. And it's the 20-year-old who gets the better of the 34-year-old. 
young and old in Stadium One in this fourth round matchup. We got Fiontek doing it for the Polish crowd. This lady's happy, likes what she sees. Fiontek into the quarterfinals of Indian Wells. 4 6, 6 2, 6 3. Only managing to get one game on the board in what was a very, very comfortable evening for the pole. Fiontek. The new world number two, but more importantly, she is the deserving winner of this title. And she does it in style with a 6-2, 6 love win over Victoria Golovic. She defeats Madison Bringle, 6 love, 6-3. What a great performance from the pole. Just played throughout the match. A little bit of a dip in the second, but nothing really huge. I mean, throughout the match, she was just exquisite, especially with the four. Reached the last eight, indeed. 6 3, 6 1. Now, a good one for the pole. Just showing off again, you know, why she is where she is today. And, uh, becoming the best player in the world by Monday. And if she can keep mentally strong and physically, she can definitely go all the way. It's a big task here. I mean, she has nothing to lose because nobody would think that it was, you know, a failure for her not to uh, win this tournament after what she's achieved oh, yes. in the past three weeks. And uh, listen, the streak is going to end at some point. I think the longest streak in the history was Martina Navratilova, 74 wins in 1984. It was Kathleen <laughs> Orvath on clay at the French Open. Roland Garros that end up that uh, winning streak. Yeah, I'm not sure anybody's going to get to that. <laughs> well, it's much more difficult these yeah. days, I tell you, because there's much more depth in women's tennis. But still, you know, anything uh, anything to that matter, if anything above 10 is, is amazing to me. And, uh, you know, Petra Kvitova did it but twice I think was above 20 to reach the semifinals in Miami for the first time just too good there's <laughs> just uh, not much that anyone is able to do so far in this tournament and so far in the last uh, two previously just uh, clutch when she needs to be and uh, very consistent the energy is there the accuracy is there and the will is there It's all coming together, all happening for Igor Sviantek.